loves you in here. <laughs> On the run, I see. Of course I know. It's obvious. Those freshly muddied boots. Now either you are too good for the pavement or you needed a shortcut. And that little snag on your outfit, something that would have been created by running into something now, unless you're careless, it would have happened if you were in a hurry. And when you were outside, where I spotted you, your eyes were going back and forth and back and forth, as if to survey the area for a good place to hide. And of course, the most telling evidence of all, that hungry look in your floating friend's eyes. Now that look, that's something that I've only seen in someone who's up to no good. Hmm? It's always like that? Hmm. Well, if I'm not mistaken, you are not from Fontaine. Now the question is, are you friend or foe? We don't see many visitors here in Fontaine, and with good reason. Hmm. I'm thinking I could turn you in, right? Now, there's nothing stopping me. Now, someone like you, in a position like this, it'd be very unfortunate. But, lucky for you, you've run into the Spina de Ursula. Come far and wide for our expertise in handling many things from dispute mediation to protection to solving conundrums. You name it, Spina de Rosula does it. We play by our own rules. And I have the honor of being its renowned president. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. To your left, you'll find my attendant, Melus. At your service, demoiselle. And to your right is Silver, who handles my daily needs and affairs. Ready and waiting, boss. Oh, <laughs> no. I have many titles, but you may call me Nathia. So, let's sit, shall we? Hmm. Back to the situation at hand. And you are? Traveler. A traveler or the traveler. Uh, shh. Keep your voice down. I've heard whispers of their many heroics. It's a bold claim to infer you are someone of such great importance. If you are indeed the traveler, then you'd have seen quite a lot in your adventures, right? Hmm. Ah, I've got it. You must answer to me a question about four different regions of Devat. Sound fair? <laughs> I like your style. <laughs> okay. Question one. Mondstadt. Mondstadt. Mondstadt is known for which particular? Particular type of 
chamber right again hmm. okay all right question three Inazuma 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 while traveling in Inazuma you may find yourself being pranked by this adorable creature what is its name what is its name I told you they get more difficult. <laughs> so, what, what, what will it be? What do you think it is? Hmm? Hmm. Tanuki, 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 Tanuki. I will accept the answer of Tanuki. Yes, but I was looking for Bake Tanuki. The boss is so gracious. <laughs> Thank you. Question four. Sumaru. All right. What are the names of these forest spirits that are said to visit and play with the children of Sumaru? Conclusion that you are indeed the traveler. Most astute of you, demoiselle. <laughs> oh, how exciting. Is it true that you're from another world outside of ours? Oh, sorry. I don't mean to be intrusive. Those kinds of rumors aren't exactly printed on the steam burn. I should focus on our current issue. You're being followed. This is correct? Hmm, I see. Start from the beginning. Tell me. Right, okay. Interesting. Right, right. And they found you where? Where they started? And what were you doing exactly? Exactly. I see. Okay. Hmm, understood. Uh, uh, Melus, did you bring my tea set? I have macarons and tea at the ready. Good. We can't look over these clues on an empty stomach. I tend to think more clearly over a table of tea and sweets. 
I see your friend Paimon is in agreement. a strong black tea with floral notes. I find that it does the best job in clearing the mind and lifting the spirit. for a loose leaf tea. And then of course I pack it myself. There's just something about it that I like so much more. Something bespoke. having tea. Now I know. I was going to have tea. My loose. Did you want some tea? Silver. Bye, Mom. Did you want some tea? <laughs> then I will need to add more. any sugar. Best job. 
judgment for you. Perfect. How is yours? Do you like it? Mm. A good Earl Grey with some cream. It's my favorite, as I mentioned. How are the macarons? Do you like them? Don't mind if I do. Pistachio. Pistachio. My favorite. Wonderfully. Mm, delicious. I see your friend quite liked them. <laughs> Don't worry. I see that you're drooling. <laughs> Have another. Here. I made plenty. So, here we have... This one is coffee. Coffee flavored. This one is raspberry. Raspberry. This one is pistachio, like I mentioned. My favorite. Don't worry, I make extra. So, those are some good ones, but there's more. Just wait. Now, this one here looks similar to the coffee, but it's actually chocolate. Chocolate. And then here we have lemon. Not my favorite, but a few others quite like this flavor, so I keep making them. <laughs> and then this one is my second favorite. It is vanilla. Vanilla. You can't go wrong with just a regular old classic vanilla, in my opinion. So which one would you like? All of them. I don't mind. Go ahead. All of them it is. At least someone appreciates my baking. <laughs> I do all of my own baking. Though, my loose and Silver are a big help. I applaud her. And I give encouraging smiles. <laughs> See? Fancy ladies don't just read books, sip tea, ride horses, and play the piano. We have all types of hobbies. Including, but not limited to, Solving mysteries. So, tell me more about this enemy that's on your tail. Oh, um, but first, Silver. I've been keeping watch, boss. I haven't spotted anyone suspicious thus far. Very good. But we better not let our guard down just yet. Keep it up. <clears throat> so... Go ahead, the details. Okay. 
they were about how fast you say and they didn't like it when you okay Now to go on, to go on. Okay, alright. Hmm. That gives me a bit of an idea. Now let me grab something. You mentioned clockwork. Adventure. I like to collect these. Oh, they're everywhere, but I pick up the prettiest ones. Or the ones that are most intact after, well, sometimes they can get destroyed. Let's take a look. Now you tell me if any of these look particularly familiar. I know it can be hard to tell the difference. They all look like clockwork. They all look like similar gears, but they have their differences. So, for example, there's this one here. This comes from a larger mecha. Set that down. And there's also tinier ones, like this one here. You can see this little tiny. that and other mechanical ones this one is a little bit darker in color I picked this one up because it was just a little bit different like seashells where some are just a slightly different color a slightly different shape Are any of these looking familiar? A smaller? Um, let's see. Okay. Must have been so much. I've taken that, you saw it. Does oh no, this one. Does this one look familiar? It's a little bit lighter, has a silver color to it. It's definitely a newer version. It's more of a handcrafted type of gear. A 
it comes from a very special type of mecca. Hmm. This gives me an idea. I believe I know. Let me set this down. All right. That was very helpful. It narrows it down to two, three different potential enemies that is following you. I just need a few more tiny details. Was there anything you could think of as insignificant as it may seem? It could be very helpful. An energy glowing what color? Dark blue. Huh. Dark blue energy. I... I think I know what may be following you. But it's difficult to explain. Hmm, how do I put this? Uh, do you hear that? That ticking, it's like... Tick, tick, tick. Wait. Traveler, watch your back. Melus, my umbrella. At once, it was a... Coming at ya. This one's got your name on it. send off from the speed I would love. Whew. Well, perfect timing, I'd say. Oh, that. It was just my umbrella. Fashionable and functional. You just never know these days when a tea party is going to turn into a fight. Are you all right? I didn't hit you with any shrapnel. Shrapnel? I'm just going to take a look. Sometimes you can't always tell when you've been hit. They're tiny little pieces of geo shrapnel. So Somewhere I don't want you to have been hurt at all, so I'm just going to look. Mm, no shrapnel, but your outfit. Another hole. <sighs> Darn Mecca. I'm just going to take a close look. big of a hole, but it could rip into a bigger one if it's left unattended. It's just a little stitch, just one or two stitches. Right, um, don't fret. I can patch this up for you while I explain. Something else I have prepped, just in case. You never know when you're going to need to repair your outfit. I have all kinds of needles for all different sorts of fabrics. I think yours is going to be this one here. So this is just going to compare this. the perfect color. White. Perfect. Perfect. Alright. Okay, I'm 
going to get this started and then we will continue. meet, it creates a reaction known as annihilation. This reaction lets out an immense amount of energy. Power in this reaction was harnessed by the Fontaine Research Institute. Fontaine Research Institute. And is what powers the Mecca. Obviously, something went wrong. Assuming you've seen the ruins to the north. Well, at some point, the field generators archive core overloaded, resulting in a massive explosion. Because of this, most of the Mecca no longer obey. Oh, trust me. The Institute has been clouded by infamy for a while now. Especially after their Mecca fish went from cleaning Fontaine's waters to killing our fish as a cleaning task. If you run into those researchers, you set them straight for me, will you? Hmm. Anyway, the trick to beating these mecha is really quite simple. If it's glowing blue with Weisha, hit it with the golden energy of Numa, and vice versa. This will trigger the annihilation reaction and cause them to lose power. After that, it's a really simple battle. Believe it or not, all beings in Fontaine are aligned with one of these two energies. I, for example, am aligned with Weisha, the blue one. I'm just going to finish up this last stitch here, and I can check your alignment if you like. need to... I have to align with my geo powers just a little bit in order to check what your alignment is. Which means I will need... to 
ground myself. It looks like you align with Noma. Ooh, that makes us a perfect team. <laughs> Speaking of, I believe I am in the company of another who wishes to cut down the thorns of deceit and pursue the truth. I have a murder mystery on my hands. I could use a partner like you. Sadly, I've hit a dead end. And a shift in thinking is required at times like this to produce a breakthrough. With your fresh eyes, I think we could solve it. Oh. I see. So your primary objective here was to have a chat with the Hydro Archon. Hmm. I hear there's a long line of people waiting to meet Lady Irina. I suspect you'll be waiting for a while now. Hmm. Oh yes, she is indeed very popular. Though, what do you consider? some more unique ways, perhaps even methods of, say, questionable legality. Hmm. To understand my plan, you need to know just a little something about Lady Fiorina. God of Justice has a flair for the 
theatrics. She lives for the spectacle of the courtroom and follows each trial held in the opera Epicles with a passion. She puts on quite a show, and like I mentioned, the people of Fontaine love her for it. And how could they not? She's charismatic, witty, and holds herself with a godly elegance. But most of all, she has an unrivaled sense for drama. You can use that against her. So, my plan. <clears throat> Seal yourself under her bed. Then, in the dead of night, wake her up and demand answers. Refuse to let her sleep unless she answers all of your questions. Hmm. Valid point. You might get arrested. Okay. Jokes aside, you could just corner Lady Fiorina while she's at break at the court. You could probably catch her tonight if you hurry. Hmm. I liked the first plan. But it's up to you, I suppose. Hmm. So, this is goodbye, is it? Well, if you do encounter any other trouble while in Fontaine, you're always welcome to contact the Spina de Usula. In any case, I wish you smooth sailing. See you soon, partner. Hello, hello, hello again. Today's video was actually sponsored by Kenshin Impact. I have played this game since it first came out in 2020. I still play it regularly. No game has ever kept my attention this long. Ever. But how can I let it go? It's an open world action RPG game set in the vast magical world of Devot. There's five uniquely beautiful continents. Mondstadt. Liyue. Inazuma. Sumeru. and the newest region, Fontaine. Even after three years of playing this game, I'm still not even close to exploring it all. And the gameplay, oh, the gameplay, it's amazing. With seven different kinds of elemental powers that all react to each other in different ways. There's Pyro, Cryo, Hydro, Denjo, Animo, Geo, and Electro. The elemental combat system is so fun to strategize and experiment with to see how you can unleash the most explosive damage. And don't even get me started on the characters. There are so many, and yet they all have expansive lore and personalities. Speaking of lore, this game is lore rich. I mean, it is deep with so many twists and turns. <laughs> The amount of times I've teared up from various storylines, y'all. <laughs> and I know this means a lot to me, so for those who care, there's also farming and fishing. Anyway, the best part is that it's cross-platform. You can play it on PC, Android, iOS, and PlayStation 4 and 5. And there's co-op mode, so you can team up with your friends to take on domain challenges and reap those sick rewards. Today's video obviously focused on the new Geo-aligned Claymore user Navia, the president of Spina di Rosula. Her story so far has been very much things are not quite as they appear vibe, which is why I'm really looking forward to playing her new story quest, as well as the upcoming event Rose and Muskets. This event is also an opportunity to get to know another character that I cannot wait to debut, the pyro-aligned polar arm user, Chevreus. As of now, version 4.3 just came out, and it came with new characters, new story quest, and the new events, Roses and Muskets, Arataki Blazing Armor Beetle Bootcamp, Lost Riches, and Dance of Resolute Will. 
If you are looking for a new cave to dive into, I highly recommend Genshin Impact. Click the link in my description to download Genshin Impact and begin your adventure today. And those who already play, I want you to tell me who your favorite characters are. Please let me know in the comments. My most used characters are Raiden Shogun, Kokomi, Kazuha, and Zhang Li. But I have so many other favorites. Anyway, with that, thank you so much to Kinshin Impact for sponsoring this video, and I hope that you have a very good night.